You know, you and I are supposed to be here. We're in the right place at the right time. There are no accidents in this whole universe. This is not an ordinary film that you're watching. These are not ordinary ideas. These ideas are coming from 57 years of focused study by myself and tens and tens of years by Napoleon Hill. The ideas that got the Wright brothers off the ground, that enabled Henry Ford to build the car he built. These ideas, they're the ideas that you can have and you can use. Now, I know they work because I've used them. I can promise you one thing. If you will focus on what I'm suggesting, I'm going to show you how to do it. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. You want to do it better. And the beautiful part of this is you can. If you are very successful, you can become more successful because you have infinite potential. No one can even guess at what you and I are capable of doing. If you've been failing miserably up till now, that doesn't matter. Let the dead bury the dead. We let the past go. And we just focus on who we are, where we are, and what we're going to do. I think we should go back to where it all started. But we have to go way back to 1908. Napoleon Hill was a young reporter for a little magazine. Hill was fortunate enough to get an interview, a three-hour interview, with the wealthiest man in the world, Andrew Carnegie. At the end of the three-hour interview, Andrew Carnegie said to Napoleon Hill, Napoleon, this interview isn't ending, it's just beginning. I want you to come home with me. He spent three days with Andrew Carnegie. So he went from nothing to be the wealthiest man in the world. And he shared with Napoleon Hill his whole philosophy. At the end of the three days, Carnegie decided that I think this is the man I'm looking for. And so he asked him a question. Unbeknownst to Napoleon Hill, he only gave him 60 seconds to answer the question. He looked at him, he had a stopwatch in his hand under his desk. And he says, Napoleon, you've spent three days with me. You know now how I've accomplished what I've accomplished. He says, I'm going to ask you a question, and I just want a yes or no answer. He said, would you spend or invest the rest of your life in an idea for which you would probably receive no material compensation for at least 20 years. How would you answer that question? In 25 seconds, Napoleon Hill said, yes, he would. He qualified. He passed the acid test. And all successful people make decisions very fast. They change them very slow, if and when they change them at all. And he pointed out that people that are not successful make decisions very slow and change them fast enough. I guess that's why Andrew Carnegie gave him 60 seconds. If he took longer, he would be disqualified. How do you make decisions? Now, Carnegie said to Hill, he said, now, Napoleon, now, he said, you're going to run into many tough times, Napoleon. No question about that. So he said, I'm going to give you something that will help you through those tough times. I want you to write this out. I want you to write every word. No one's going to underline every word. This is a message that you're going to give from yourself to yourself, Napoleon. So it's going to be you talking to you. I want you to write down Andrew Carnegie. I'm not only going to equal your achievements in life, I'm going to meet you at the post and pass you at the grandstand. Well, as the story goes, he threw his pencil on the floor. He says, now you know darn well I'm not going to be able to do that. He says, I know you're not Napoleon, unless and until you believe it. But I want you to repeat that every morning, and I want you to repeat it every night. I want you to look in the mirror, and I want you to repeat that. Looking in your eyes, say, Andrew Carnegie, I'm not only going to equal your achievements in life, I'm going to meet you at the post, and I'm going to pass you at the grandstand. Now, that wasn't an easy thing for Hill to do. The first day he went, he locked himself in the bathroom, and he looked in the mirror, and he whispered, No, he said he felt when he was saying like he was a darn fool. He said, this isn't going to happen. But he said, I made a commitment that I would do this, so I better do it. 
So every morning and every night, he would do this. Now, he had committed that he would do it for 30 days. Around the middle of the month, he started to think maybe it could happen. By the end of the month, he knew it would happen. Carnegie made somewhere in the vicinity of 50 millionaires. Napoleon Hill has made millions of millionaires. So you see, he did equal his achievements. He went past his achievements, and he did pass them at the grandstand. How did he do that? Why did he do that? There's a reason for it. Now, you see, it all starts with our own thinking. Do you know that every great leader that has ever lived in agreement on that we become what we think about? We truly do become what we think about. See, the thoughts that we're thinking produce the results that we're getting. The way to get the moon was already here, always here. When President John Kennedy asked Dr. Werner von Braun, who's considered the, the father of space travel, what it would take to build a rocket that would carry a man to the moon and bring him back safely to Earth. Von Braun answered him in five words, the will to do it. The will to do it. Will is a mental faculty that gives us the ability to concentrate. You gotta concentrate on what you want, and that will keep you on the frequency that you have to be on to attract everything that you need to get there. This is so important. Do you know what I found? When you set a goal, you don't have to believe it. If you keep repeating it, you'll come to believe it. If you tell yourself a lie often enough, you'll believe it. Way back in 1900, William James from Harvard, he said, believe and your belief will create the fact. Remember I said, everything's already here, omnipresent, that's within us. What are you gonna do with the rest of your life? That's your question. You gotta make a decision. You follow this, you can do whatever you want.